and basketball analysis with over 70 years combined experience. This is the Bob Ryan and Jeff Goodman podcast. NBA, some college, a little bit of everything. You know what can I say? But it wasn't going to happen here with him. All right, it's time for the Bob Ryan, Jeff Goodman, tag we along for the ride, Zoom and Pod. Bob is still on assignment. He will be back with us next week. But I did get a text message yeah. from Bob that, like, he's going to be ready to go. Like, as soon as he lands at Logan, he's, like, ready to do a show. And I'm like, Bob, we're good. Relax. Enjoy the week. Assignment. I love how you call it assignment. Uh, Bob is gallivanting around France right now, is he not? Yes, he is. Yes, I'm okay. sure. Yes, and I'm sure uh, enjoying some fine wine. Yes, yes. And uh, cheese. We're both jealous. We're both um, jealous. Because, we're both uh, very jealous. Yeah. Anyways, we are sponsored by FanDuel, exclusively the wagering partner of the CLNS Media Network. Score this NFL season with FanDuel, America's number one sports book. Right now, new customers get $150 in bonus bets with any winning $5 money line bet. That's $150 bucks if your team wins. Okay, Jeff, let's get caught up on what's going on with the Celtics here. A nice come from behind win over Cleveland. Jalen Brown gets tossed in the next game. Uh, let's start with their schedule and like playing teams back to back and yeah. not having, you know, I think it's kind of Leave weird. I don't, yeah, what's up yeah. with that? I don't know. I don't like it either. It, I don't it like just, it. No, I don't either. I mean, again, I, I don't know. It, it just, unless it's the playoffs, I, I just don't see the value in it other than, I mean, maybe saving some money, which these NBA teams aren't all that concerned about. I wouldn't um, think so. But yeah, you get Cleveland back to back here. A really good team. And I'd rather have that that game, honestly, later in the year. I, I would rather not have it back to back this early. Um, you know, and again, part of it is too, like if you're banged up, right? One team is going to have a significant advantage if they're healthier at that point in time. You get them twice. Right. And who knows? I mean, this Cleveland team is they're fun to watch. They're obviously without Mobley. And he's a super talented big um, who, who's just gotten better and better quickly. Like I, I expected it to take a little bit longer with him. Uh, great, great defensive player, not an alpha, but they have their alpha in, in, in Donovan Mitchell. I'm not sure Donovan's like a good enough alpha to lead them deep, deep into the playoffs, but he's made, he's helped make Cleveland relevant right now. And they're a fun, fun team to watch. A lot of fun teams to watch in the East uh, this year, as we've seen. So, this was also a game that I think the Celtics lose a year ago. Yeah. Um, you know, they put the pedal to the metal in the final two minutes, made some key shots at the end, and put it away, which I thought was very impressive. I also heard Jason Tatum speak about how this team is, isn't about your stats. It, he, he said, all of us could have higher scoring averages. He didn't say right. himself. And say himself, he said, all of us could have higher scoring averages. But he, but he says, everyone is doing what's best for the team. Yeah, I mean, I think you've got enough guys that, that again, are adults now, right? I mean, right. Drew Holiday was always an adult. He was an adult, you know, first time I met him at UCLA. Uh, Porzingis has grown up. You know, if you talk to people close to Porzingis, they will say, hey, listen, early on in the league, he was immature. He had to kind of figure it out. And really, in what way was he immature? I'm curious. You know, I think the people around him and so much came to him so quickly in New York, young, you know, a lot of pressure, um, you know, and, and he had success early too. And then the injuries. And then I think his. So he was arrogant. He got a swell head. I, yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't know if it was arrogance is the right word. It just, again, maybe had the wrong people around him too. Mm. And now it sounds like he's got the right people around him. And again, he, he went through losing at the, the highest level last year. Uh, you know, Derek White, we know. Like, Derek White is like the ultimate oh, dude. But, Jeff, I got to tell you, I always liked him as a player, but now I love him. He's raised his game. How can you not? How can you not? Level. Oh, it's a whole new level. Listen, what, what can you say negative about Derek White? Like, literally, <laughs> about anything right now. I mean, think of this dude – what he's done, even the last four games, I, I looked at it. He's averaging like 22 points a game, 20 assists, seven turnovers. He's shooting 50% from three. He hasn't missed a free throw in the four games, by the way. 16 to 16. Oh, my God. Last night they were perfect, right? Right. 
like he plays great defense. He's the ultimate team player. And remember when everybody's like, oh, 18 million or whatever he was getting paid, we're overpaying. And, and, and yet it looked like we were overpaying for him when when he first got traded. He was awful. Right. But he he is like almost like a creature of habit type of player where like he needs to kind of figure out his routine, who he's playing with, where they want the ball, you know, doesn't want to step on toes. And now everybody, and I remember Damon Stoudemire telling me this preseason last year, he was like, trust me, like Derek White's going to be the guy. He's different this year. And uh, so him and Drew are, are the ultimate pros. Porzingis has matured. Right. Um, Tatum and Jalen Brown have matured. They both got their payday, right? That helps as well. Um, but but I think they've understood too, like, all right, we need help. And we don't we don't want to keep we keep going deep, but if we don't win this whole thing, we're gonna get criticized no matter what our numbers are. Ultimately, it's gonna be about winning a title for us. And when you bring in those type of guys, or in Hortford, Al is all about team, and he always has been. So it's like hard. It's hard to be selfish and immature and about your own numbers when you're playing with dudes like Drew Holiday, like Derek White, like Al Horford that are just like the consummate pros, all about the right things. So I think now here, here's the biggest difference. Here it is, Gary. It's not hard to figure. Now you're surrounding these stars in, in Tatum and Jalen Brown with good role models. Professionals. You weren't doing that. You had Kyrie. You had guys that just weren't, you know, even like Marcus Smart was flammable. He could be good, but he wasn't like a, a great leader. He, he, listen, all you had to do was watch him on the court, jack up all those threes and say like, come on, man. If, if you were super unselfish, you would not be taking these shots. Do you think Holiday has found his groove a little bit? Yeah, he's getting better and better. And he doesn't need, again... He doesn't need to be a guy that's scoring a lot of points. That's not his role. He understands that at this point in his career. I mean, he he had a couple defensive plays last night uh, that were just at the highest level. And and that's kind of, you know, again, he's never been a guy that really cares about the fanfare, the attention, or any right. of that. It, it's about winning another title for him. And, and he knows, like, if he just plays his role, he's going to have – you know, one out of every like three or four games where he'll go for 20. But for the most part, yeah, he's going to probably go, you know, 10, 12, 14, five assists, you know, playing great defense. And nobody's going to really talk about him. But at the end of the day, he's going to be an integral part of, of the culture, the fabric, the, the DNA of this team. Score early this NFL season with FanDuel, America's number one sports book. Right now, new customers get $150 in bonus bets with any winning $5 money bet. That's $150 if your team wins. If you've been thinking about joining FanDuel, there's no better time to get in on the action than NFL. The app is so easy to use. There's a wide range of betting options, including you got spreads, you got your player props, you got over-unders, and more. So visit FanDuel.com slash Boston and kick off the NFL season. FanDuel, official partner of the NFL. I haven't spoken to you since the Knicks game. What did you think of Jalen getting bounced? It was very uncharacteristic, but yeah. I don't endorse this sort of behavior, but I kind of liked it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, listen, you know, again, I think so many of these refs are so quick to pull the trigger. Too. Well, he shouldn't have gotten the second tech. Right, he's on the bench. That, but, but, I mean, it's not so much, I think we all agree about that. But even though he got the second technical, I was still surprised to see Jalen so emotional. Yeah, I, I think you're right. I think we you want to see that out of this team, right? I, I've said that about Tatum. I liked it. I, I want to see Tatum hang on the rim, pick up a technical, yell and scream. I don't give a shit if it if it costs yeah. him a point. <laughs> Doesn't matter, right? Right. We in Boston, fans want to see emotion. They want oh, to like, love it. Right. And and if you're winning at the highest level, it's okay, right? Like nobody's gonna break it all down and say, Well, you know, uh, they're not showing enough emotion. Well, they're they're tied for the best record in the league right now. So it's fine. 
But when you're not winning, that's when people will start to say, well, they look like they don't really care. Right. Uh, I, I think if you're winning and you show emotion, man, then it's a team that people absolutely are going to love to watch. And again, to me, that's the hardest part with Tatum, right? People have said, and I'm, I've known Jason for a long time. I know he cares. He cares at the highest level. Right. It's just not how he shows other than with referees. That's the only time you're really going to see the right. highest level of emotion from Jason Tatum. And that's really not the emotion that people are going to love. But, but, you know, again, I, I think. I, I, I still see a, a difference in maturity with Tatum this year. Yeah. The quote we talked about, the way he's you on. You can the hear board. it with him, too. You, you can, can hear it. With him. You can hear it. You can see it. It's like. You know, yeah, okay. If he if he dunks it and you know screams whatever, he doesn't have to. There's something. Um, this may be an exaggeration. There's something. He's becoming stately. You know what I mean? Yeah. He's becoming. There's something about him now. There's a gravitas yeah. about Jason Tatum on the floor now that just comes with experience. Yeah, and I think it just comes with respect too of of yeah. people understanding how good he is. It's almost like. You know, now he's getting some of the calls that he never got um, previously. Again, because right. what I said from day one, which was he complained, he complained, he complained. He he did this all the time. He's doing this less, right? He's doing this less. And I think part of it is just the, the respect that probably the referees now have for him. And he's starting to have with them. I think he heard it from enough people over the years. Like, hey, man, know the names of these refs. Talk to them. And then you're gonna you're gonna start to get calls because you are one of the elite players in the game, but you don't want to be a guy that they're penalizing because they don't like you. I remember Paul Pierce used to talk to Mike Gorman before every game and say, "Who's who's who's on tonight? Yep. Who are the rest?" Yep. And I filled in for Mike not one time. Mike was sick last minute, so they obviously scraping the bottom of the barrel. And I went in to do the game with Tommy, and Pierce ran up to me looking for Mike. And it, like fear in his eyes, you know, like I didn't, know, yeah, yeah. I, I didn't even know they did that. I didn't else. I would have been, you know, prepared, but yeah, the smart but, players know the sure. names of the refs, especially the stars. The other ones shouldn't be talking to the, the refs anyway, but um, you, you know, Tatum's going to talk to the refs. And, and again, for Jalen Brown, I, I was fine with it. You know, again, I, I feel yeah. like too often we saw it in a game was it last night. Somebody got a T for hanging on the rim, and they weren't even hanging on the rim. I mean, let long. it go. I mean, right. I yeah, that's. I mean, come on, it's still a game. We still, it, as long as it's not at the highest level of, of disrespect. Sure, let it go. Who cares? Uh, what did you think of the in season tournament? And can the Lakers win the real title or the grown up title? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I don't think so unless they add another significant piece that helps right. them shoot the, you know, like they need, they need more shooting. And and the other part of this is, you know, listen, the odds still have to be there that Anthony Davis and LeBron James are healthy when it matters most. What are the and those are two guys that, you know, LeBron's turning 39. AD's seemingly always hurt at one point or another. So if they're both hurt uh, healthy and they pick up a shooter, a wing shooter, I would say, yeah, maybe if things broke right, but I, I just think there's there's, you know, three or four teams that are clearly superior to them overall, have more depth, have more balance, and aren't as reliant on two players. I mean, look, you would say the Celtics two players, top two players, you might put up against those two, right? Like like LeBron and and, and Tatum, like in the playoffs. I don't know who you're taking. You know, like LeBron at its highest level, probably not going against them, even at 39. Right. But it's close. Like you're saying that's a wash. I'd rather have AD when he's healthy than than Jalen Brown or Porzingis or whoever you want to say is their second best player. But look at the depth of that Celtics team and that starting five plus Horford right. compared to, to the Lakers. It's not even close. It was fun, though. Uh, I did not have an opinion going into this tournament. I listened to a lot of people bash it. But I was open-minded. I was like, look, I don't care. I, I, there's so much, <clears throat> Jeff, so much has changed in sports since I was a kid. And I was yep. just like, I, I don't criticize any of it. 
you know, I mean, look, every generation brings something new, right? Every generation brings something new. And this was new. And I was like, I don't care. It doesn't, I'm still going to watch the game. Try something different. Yeah, I'm I'm fine with that too. Try something different. Okay, fine. I mean, it It didn't do much for me. It didn't do much for me where I was like. The games were good though. The games were good. I mean, the Pacers, I mean, you know, again, I know. When the Celtics had to beat the Pacers by so much, it was fun to watch. I mean, Billy Don, we talked about it. Billy Don, yeah. I mean, you get all pissed off. But I, it was just a good thing. I, you know, I... I well, Halliburton, a, Halliburton helped it, too. Halliburton. That's another thing. He's like, we start to see other players. People learn, like, you knew about Halliburton. We've been talking about him. But, you know, you start to see other players. You start to see the magic. You start to see the Pacers. And, you know... These guys probably realize, and even LeBron probably realizes, you know what? We may not have enough in the tank for the big one, but we're going to yeah, run I mean, for I think he knows, he, know, he knows, the, you know, there's right. Definitely... But then he said, oh, well, let's go win this one. Right. Well, you know, it was I mean, good for the young tournament. Guys. This is a tournament where the magic of the Pacers can shine. Hey, what did you think? I don't even know if you saw this. So LeBron went to Bronny James's debut. I did. Yeah. On Saturday. Yeah. So Bronny was actually, I thought he was really good, even though he only scored four points, played 17 minutes. I thought he was terrific. And and the poise he plays with is is incredible for a kid who's been out five months, uh, who's never played a college game, right. who almost died, you know, five know. months ago. But so of course the headlines are LeBron walking in as the national anthem's playing and not taking off his hat and not sitting down. Literally, he walks in as the national anthem's playing and the disrespect and whatnot. And I'm like, I don't, you know, you just wonder, like, with LeBron, it's so different because I think security people are probably telling him when he can walk in, when he can't, people are coming up to him. You even wonder sometimes, like, did he even hear the national Was he aware of the national anthem? I just feel like LeBron's way too smart not to sit down or stay standing and take off his hat if he if he was aware of everything that was I, I don't going think on. he I don't think he would intentionally ignore it. I Me. you know you and I both we, you and I both agree it's important you know to take off your hat, stand at attention. We all understand that, of course. Um, I can't. I don't know. You know him better than me. But I don't think he would intentionally. No chance. Zero chance. I think he's probably was unaware. Right. Um, yeah. So, yeah. But but when you're LeBron, you know, you're going to take heat for that. You know, you just are. I mean, you just. Yeah. And, and It was cool to see him, though. It was cool yeah. to see him. But I, don't think, but I think, yeah. But, I mean, obviously, you have to stand and, and, you know, you have to respect your country. I don't know if he was aware. No, I, I don't think so. By the way. I don't know if I've told you this, but I've seen LeBron uh, at plenty of Bronny's games through the years, right. AU games. He is like the most fun dude to watch because he knows every one of his son's teammates' names. He will give them uh, feedback as they come off the court sometimes. It, it might be something small, but he'll say something to them. He's so involved as a father. And like that, I don't know. That's just the coolest thing because, you know, you got kids that are playing sports. You know, he grew up without a father, correct? Correct. Correct. So there you go. I mean, he's all about it. You know, he even took heat for going to the game, right? Didn't he miss? Yeah, you know. He didn't miss that game. He he, he was going to. He said if it fell on the same day, he would choose going to Bronny's debut. Oh, so it never happened. Never happened. you know what? I wouldn't have blamed him if he did. No. Are you kidding? I'd applaud him. I'd applaud him for it. Yeah. Gosh. Gosh. You might be looking for wholesome, convenient meals for sunny, active days. Factor America's number one ready to eat meal kit can help you fuel up fast with flavorful and nutritious ready to eat meals delivered straight to your door. You'll save time, eat well, and stay on track reaching your goals. Too busy with summer plants to cook though? Well, make sure you remain on course and eating well. With Factor, you can skip the grocery store and skip the chopping, prepping, and cleaning up too, while still getting the flavor and nutritional quality you need. Factor's fresh, never frozen meals are ready in just two minutes. All you have to do is heat and enjoy, then get back outside and soak up this warm weather. Elevate eating at home with our new upscale Surf and Turf. It's Surf and Surf meal options like roasted garlic filet mignon and shrimp, and Cajun spiced shrimp and salmon. And also budget-wise, 
It's very good too. Cut back on takeout, get Factor instead. Factor is not only cheaper than takeout, but the meals are already faster than restaurant delivery in just two minutes. So head to factormeals.com slash scribe50 and use your code scribe50 to get 50% off your first box. That's code scribe50 at factormeals.com slash scribe50 to get 50% off your first box. So as far as, are there any other teams that are rising or anything else you're seeing in this league now that is surprising you or changing your attitude on anything? Yeah, Minnesota. Minnesota is the one for me that that has shocked the hell out of me. Shocked the hell out of me. Um, you know, they're, I think they're tied maybe right now for the best record with the Celtics. Right. And it's about time, I just isn't it? felt, yeah, I just didn't see it coming because I felt like Anthony Edwards, while he's ultra talented, I just didn't think he'd have the leadership abilities paired with Carl Anthony Towns, who doesn't have the leadership abilities. I, I just didn't think this team. And again, it's still early. What are we? We're, we're about a third of the way through the season right now, just about. Yeah. So it's still early enough. But man, this type of start for Minnesota is is huge. For... Well, I've been expecting it for a while. I mean, I'm not. I didn't expect them necessarily to be tied to right. this record. But I kept saying, okay, you get towns, you get these guys. I mean, when are they gonna get something going? At least be in the be in the picture. Yeah, we. I mean, I think we felt that way for a while, but I didn't. Again, What's I the just, difference this year? Is it the are they, are they deeper or I don't know? Maybe well, I think. I mean, I think Anthony it. Edwards is is a little bit more efficient. You know, um, I didn't ever think he was much of a three point shooter. I thought he'd be very very erratic, and he's shooting in the high thirties right now. You know, I didn't see the fit between Carl Anthony Towns and Rudy Gobert. Remember, they gave up a ton right, of Gobert, right, 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 right. And he's been obviously what he is 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 an elite uh, defensive player. And like, you know, listen, Mike Conley's old; he's older, but he's perfect if you put him with a bunch of dudes, you know, like Anthony Edwards, like Carl Anthony Towns. He's going to make their life easier. And then some of their role guys have been good, you know, like Nas Reed is a kid that came in super talented. I remember seeing him back in high school. He's a man child. Um, but again, there were questions about his work ethic coming out of LSU. He fell in the draft. He's been a really good piece and 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 has enough uh, skill level that he could step out and shoot it a little bit. Uh, but it, it's really been Ant, Ant-Man and, and Carl Anthony Towns that have kind of carried him and, and Rudy defensively. Uh, don't you think that the Adam Sandler movie – Put him over the top. Was any in that Adam Sandler movie, Anthony Edwards? Uh, I don't remember if he. Was. Yes, he was. Yes, he was. That's yeah. right. He was in the Adam Sandler movie because yes. I think that was like the one movie you've seen. Yes, that's right. That's and right. I, you, yeah. I couldn't believe Goodman actually watched a movie. Yeah. That's no, right. we would. Listen, we 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 watch we watch movies. We watch movies. There's just not a lot in the theaters anymore. Oh no! Did you see Oppenheimer yet? Yeah, yeah, very good. Very yeah, good. It was excellent. Yeah, that was good. Um, I can't wait to see Maestro. That's in when's the, that out? That's uh, net. It's on Netflix on the twentieth. Is it? But it's in the theater now. Yeah, yeah Cooper crushes it. Jeff, I think I'm all done, dude. I got to go to yeah. pick up. All right, get it done, and we'll uh, we'll we'll, we'll be back with Bob next week. Bob, oh, believe me, you and I next Ready. week when Bob comes back, all we got to do is put our feet up. I know. Don't have to say a true. thing. Uh, anyways, Jeff Goodman. Bob Ryan, Tangway Along for the Right Podcast, sponsored by FanDuel, the exclusive wagering partner of the CLNS Media Networks. Score this NFL season with FanDuel, America's number one sports book. Right now, new customers get $150 in bonus bets with any winning $5 money line bet. That's $150 if your team wins. All right, Jeff, see you next time. Bye.